six-time Super Bowl champion, five-time Super Bowl MVP. And two of those Lombardi trophies that Tom Brady was able to raise were won with the help of Jarvis Green, a defensive end from 2002 to 2009 with the Patriots. And Jarvis joined us now via Zoom. And Jarvis, thank you very much for being with us. I'd uh, like to start with uh, your reaction to today's news. Oh, was, was very surprised. I thought he would have played a few more years. Um, Tom Brady has been very exceptional, 22 years, seven Lombardi trophies. I was just shocked, man, with all the snowstorm and things going on, just shocked that uh, Tom, you know, hanging it up. Now, you were playing with him at a relatively early part of his career. He uh, yeah. had one Super Bowl victory uh, by the time you joined the Patriots. At what point, and I'm assuming at, at some point, you recognized that there was something special about this guy. Do you remember when that point was? I mean, when I came in, they won the first Super Bowl. Uh, they beat the, you know, the greatest show on turf, the Rams. But then just the guy himself, man, I mean, you know, we didn't go to the playoffs my first year, but then the second year and the third year we went back to back. I mean, just him, his skills, his, his skill set, his, him, him as a person down to earth, being there for everybody in the locker room, on the field, his competitiveness, his savviness, his confidence in himself, man. I mean, Tom Brady the great, you know. And uh, I was just honored to play with him for eight years and just – uh, was was happy to get all the wins and the Super Bowl wins and just a great tradition to play with the Patriots at the same time. I think, uh, Tom Brady, uh, those two words are synonymous with the word winning. That's what he'll be yes. remembered for, uh, by and large, with all the passing records and things like that. He's going to be known as the best winner in the history of the NFL. Uh, I'd like to know, though, if you remember how he felt after the 2007 Super Bowl, after the near-perfect season, you were part of that team. How did he handle losing? Tough year, man. Going undefeated. Um, it was a little different after that for everybody, I think. And it was more about how we were going to get our mojo back, our groove back. And um, crazy year, man. To have all the records, 50 touchdowns. Um, that was a tough year, man. I mean, he, he came back, he bounced back. And I can tell you this, after that season, I think people really thought that was it with the Patriots and, and the run and the dynasty. I think everybody thought it was over with after that. So for me, when I retired, I'm just shocked and, and just wow. After all the Super Bowls he won after that. I know for my year it was 2010. Uh, Tom Brady the Great, the GOAT. Absolutely. And I'm always reminded of Jerry Rice, uh, uh, one yeah. of the greatest players as well, um, who said that he was motivated more by the, the fear of failure, the fear of losing, than, than people are motivated by winning. Do you know if Brady was motivated the same way, that he hated losing more than he loved winning? If you have competitive... You hate losing. Everyone hates losing. And you can see it. And Tom used to wear it on his shoulder. And after he have a bad series of show, you know, you see the memes everywhere with his face and everybody see when you see that face, it's over. Tom Brady hated losing. That's why he's been so successful. Now, we talked with uh, Steven Goskowski just uh, a little bit ago, and uh, yeah. he talked about how Tom Brady was just one of the guys in, in the locker room. Is, yes. th is that your memory of him as well? And, and I asked Steven, I'll ask you, how difficult is it for somebody as famous and spectacular and with so much attention on him, how difficult is it for somebody like Tom Brady to just be a regular guy? Oh, it's going to be. I mean, he's a superstar. You know, he's a hero in so many people's eyes, in my eyes, and I think it's going to be uh, a big transition for him. I mean, of course, he got all his businesses and been successful at the things he's been doing, but he's a regular guy in the locker room, always has been. He could, you could go up and talk to him. I know for me, I can say something personal. All the different events I've had and all the wine events, I used to go to his locker, bring four or five footballs, used to sign the footballs, and I would tell him, put your 12 down there. And he did it, and he didn't say anything. You know, sometimes he might crack some jokes, but he always showed up. He always helped everybody who needed something for, you know, if it was something to help, you know, to help and give back. Tom was always there, always. It's great to have this opportunity with you, Jarvis, to uh, walk down memory lane. And what yeah. I remember of the 2003 and 2004 Patriot teams is, that was about as good a team as you're ever going to see. They had the winning streaks at home, and they had the overall winning streaks, and they won back-to-back -back Super Bowls. And I'd like to hear your comparison to those teams to the 2007 team that was nearly perfect. What was the best Patriot team you think you were ever a part of? 
I mean, 2017, we're undefeated. We, we did so much. When we was down by two touchdowns, I mean, that year, I think we had six or seven comebacks. I think that was an NFL record, you know, and we was undeniable. But I got to say, 2003 and four, we went 34 and four. Yes, you go find that anywhere. You go find that record in a book and try to figure out how they did that. We had a buzz on our back every week, and we prevailed. It was an outstanding time, a great Patriot reign, a great Patriot run, and Jarvis Green, a form of a defensive end for the Patriots, was a big part of it. And we thank you very much for joining us this afternoon to talk about uh, Tom Brady the GOAT. Thanks, Jarvis. Thank you, guys. Chef to you. All right, so there it is, uh, Tom Brady set to retire. We might hear an announcement from him as early as uh, the early part of this coming week. Again, I don't expect to hear from him personally today or tomorrow during championship weekend, but the word is out and Tom Brady is likely to talk about it early next week. Back